Hi my loves, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mal and today we are doing a contact video. You guys, I am so excited to try the Amara Giordina Rodriguez collection. Now this is actually the second installment in the collection. I tried the first set and I had some thoughts. You guys can go check out that video. I'll link it down below if you want to see it. I'm seeing a lot of beautiful natural earth tones that are going to look super flattering on brown eyes. So I cannot wait to dive in. I have four monthly shades and two daily shades, which is super exciting because I've been loving daily contacts lately and Amara contacts are super comfortable. Now, I personally like getting my Amara lenses from lens.me. So I'll link everything down below in the description bar. Make sure you check that out. And I also have a discount code for you guys. So if you like any of the lenses, go ahead and use my code Mallory. It will save you 10% off your entire purchase on lens.me. The first shade that I'm trying is called Toffee and you guys, these are absolutely stunning. This is one of the daily lenses. So you get 10 daily lenses in a pack, which means about five pairs. Now Amara, I personally haven't seen them have daily lenses before unless it's just something that I missed. So I think this is new for them. I love daily lenses. I think they're so comfortable. I can imagine this looking so good on someone even with darker eyes than me. I love the toffee shade. I think it's a beautiful, rich caramel and it's a one tone lens, but I do feel like you can kind of see little hints where your eyes are peeking through. So it gives a little bit of dimension. What I also like about these is there's no limbal ring, but you get almost that effect because it kind of sits in the center of your eye. I'm seeing a lot of contacts do this lately and it looks very 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 natural it's so beautiful i also think that the pupil diameter is perfect on these this is actually what i want hydrocorabella to look like on me but hydrocorabella is super super bright on me so these are like the perfect shade for me i have to savor these because i know i'm going to be wearing them almost every day but yeah this is a stunning pair i love these Next in the daily lenses, we have Shark Gray, and this is another stunning shade. Now, I like this gray because it's not too, too bright. It's actually very neutral. It has those brown points, a little bit of lighter specks, that deeper limbal ring. So you're getting a lot of different dimension in the lens, but overall, I think it's very pretty and it makes the eyes pop. So if you're looking for a soft gray, this could be the one for you. My only hang up is that diffused pupil hole. I feel like it could just be a hint more diffused. It looks a little bit too solid for my personal taste. Now let's talk about matcha green. You guys, this collection is going really, really well. I loved this shade. This is a beautiful kind of neutral green. It's not too bright. It does have a deeper forest limbo ring. And then the inner portion of the contact is a really deep sage green. I actually really love this shade. When I put these in, I was like, wow, these look very pretty. And I want you guys to take in that sometimes lenses on camera can look a little bit more pixelated than I feel like they look in real life. And I say that because when I look in the mirror with these lenses, I'm like, wow, these are beautiful. But when you go to the close-ups in the video, you can see that they have a little bit of like pixelation. Personally, I don't mind that when it comes to lenses, but on camera, it's more noticeable than it is in person. This lens would absolutely look beautiful on a lighter or a darker eye. And I'm seeing that they're just a hint enlarging for my eye size, which I think is actually pretty in this shade. It's not a lot, it's very, very subtle, but yeah, overall, this is a gorgeous shade. Let's move on to the next one because I have Biscuit here. You guys, I fell in love with Biscuit. This is such a pretty color. I almost wanna say move over to Bis Brown because these might be my new favorite. They are so, so pretty. These remind me of Dimple Color Manhattan Brown, Salatica Aquarella Tupis Brown. They are very much in line with those rich, warm, beautiful browns, and I love these types of shades on me. This will definitely be the contact that I'm wearing for the next month. To be honest, all of these so far, I could see myself wearing for the next month, but this one in particular stole my heart. Now, I love the diffusing on this one. I think it's very natural looking, very soft. I personally don't feel like this one is really enlarging at all. The diameter is 14.5 and the base curve is 8.7, if that means anything to you. I never really used to pay attention to what that means anyway, but I know some of you guys are gonna particularly look at that because it does affect how the contact lens is gonna fit your eye and it also affects the comfort. These are definitely for someone who wants a subtle lens. I think if I wore these no one would ever be able to tell that I'm wearing contact lenses because they are just a brown but they are a stunning brown at that 
I'm in love. Now this collection has a lot of lenses for the brown contact lovers and the natural subtle contact lovers. The next one that I tried is Choco and this one is pretty but I'm not sure if I'm liking the overall like appeal and styling of the lens. So what I'm noticing is it has a deeper limbal ring, really nice, rich, rich, dark chocolate brown. And then it has a lighter kind of warm brown and then kind of like an inner ring of almost like a tan sort of beige -ish brown color. And then not a very diffused pupil, so kind of more of a solid pupil ring. I am very picky when it comes to contact lenses, as you guys can tell. So all of these little details may not be a big deal to you from a distance, you may not be able to see it, but for me, I'm noticing that the detailing is just a little harsh around that pupil, so it's not really giving what I feel like it needs to give. That being said, you guys can see in the clips where I'm a little bit further away from the camera, they look absolutely stunning. Overall, it's very flattering, but I wouldn't say that these these would be like my top favorite from this collection. The last shade that I have is Almond and these look very pretty. You're getting a little bit more of an intense detailing, more of an intense feathering of a lighter sandy beige color around the iris. And then on the outer edge, you're getting a really, really rich deep chocolate brown and a slightly enlarging effect to the eyes. This is a very similar color to Choco, but I actually like the diffusing in Almond a little better. I'm enjoying these. I think they give a glow and kind of a pop to the eyes that looks very flattering. We need to get into the details so we can really think about how we feel about this collection. So let's talk price and final thoughts, you guys. Now the Amara collection is definitely more of a luxury contact brand. Their lenses are $55, that's Canadian pricing, for two lenses and we know that they're only one month of wear. Their daily lenses come in at $43 for a pack of 10. So that is a little bit of a high price point, but I personally feel like if I was gonna splurge, I would definitely go ahead and splurge on Biscuit. I will definitely be wearing Toffee again. I have this shade here. I love this color. These are the ones I'm wearing right now, and I would splurge for these. I think these are so pretty. They're very, very worth it to me. Overall, I found at least two pairs that I will definitely be repurchasing and wearing again. They kind of look so similar, but they are absolutely the style of lens that I would wear again, and they are very, very comfortable. That is especially important for me these days because I feel like my eyes have gotten even more dry. I don't know what's happening. But you guys, let me know what your favorite pair is from this entire haul. What colors do you think you could maybe go ahead and pick up? And if you do want to do some shopping, use my discount code Mallory to save 10% off lens.me. You guys, I am really happy that I tried this collection. I'm glad I gave this Amara Georgina Rodriguez another chance. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for tuning into this one. Bye. Single, I'm about to blow you. Take a hundred by the boy.